Okay, next we're going to check out the Media Explorer in Reaper. Now to get to the Media Explorer, go to the View menu and go right here. There's also a key command for it. On the PC, it's Alt Control X. On the Mac, it's Option Command X. And if we choose it, it opens up right down here. Right now it's docked in our main window, but it doesn't have to be. We can float it in its own separate window right here. But let's redock it. As it makes it easier to work with this and the arrangement window at the same time, as you'll see. Now the purpose of the Media Explorer is to add in media items to a project, like video or audio, or even MIDI items. Now we could do this right from our directory. In our computer, we could just drag and drop. But the Media Explorer gives us more features, as you'll see. And by using the key command, we can open and close it very easily. So let's take a look at how this works. If we go down here to my desktop, we see there's a folder here called Sound Library. I have a lot of sounds in this folder. So if I want to drag these in to our project, this is a great place to do it. Now, if we right-click this folder, we can make it a database. And what that does is it puts it over here, puts all our media items in a big list, all the items that were in that folder. And we could search through them by using the filter over here. If I type in kick, all my kick sounds show up, or snare, and all my snare sounds show up, or at least the sounds that have the word snare in them. Now we don't have to use a database. Let's clear this. And let's delete this over here. We could also just make a shortcut. Right click over here, add this to the shortcut list, and it moves that folder over here. This makes it easier to see our folders or our subfolders within the folders. But even as a shortcut, we can still search it using the filter. Go over here, type in kick, and all our kick sounds show up, along with folders with the same name. So we could do it as a shortcut or as a database. And we could have as many shortcuts or databases as we want. And we could delete it just as easily right here. Remove it, and it's gone. Let's add it back in. And let's pick a sound we want to add to our project. Let's go in here. There's a few sounds in this folder. Now to audition them, just click on them, go to the play button down here, and we could hear it. We could also choose autoplay. Now if we choose them, they're gonna play as soon as they're selected. We could also use the space bar to play them. Hit the space bar, and we hear the sound. We could also loop them over here. So if we turn looping on and we play the sound, it's going to loop over and over again. Now down over here is the routing window. This is how we audition the sound. By default, it's set up to be the main outs, output one and two, or we could switch it to headphones or any of the outputs on your audio interface. Now if we go up here, this is a pretty cool option. Play through selected track. Let me show you how that works. If we make a new track and put an effect on it, let's choose the res filter. And let's say we want to audition the sounds through this effect. We know we're going to use it, so we want to audition the sounds through it. If we use reverb or delay or even this filter, so we can hear the sounds, how they're going to sound before we choose them. So if we select this, go to the routing, and choose play through selected track. Now if we play this sound, it plays through that filter, or that effect, or basically through this track. So if it was panned to the left, 
we only hear it out of the left. So it's great if we know we're going to process a sound afterwards. And we want to choose based on that processing. Let's delete that. And let's switch this back to our main outputs. Now we can adjust the auditioning volume right over here. But this volume is only for auditioning. It's not going to affect when we bring the sound in. Now down over here, we can tempo match our sounds. So in the case of these sounds, which are loops, it's going to time stretch them to match the tempo of our song. Because if we don't do that, they're not going to match our song. So we can change it right here to tempo match. And now it sounds like this. It's a lot faster. Or we could switch it to tempo match half. And it's going to be half speed. Or double speed. It's very flexible. So with tempo match on, if we add it to the project, it's going to play in time with the rest of the song. So let's import it. There's a few different ways. We could right click it, insert into project on new track. But before we do that, let's put our cursor right on the bar, on bar two. Then right click this, insert into project on new track. And that adds it in right here, right on bar two. Let's hear it. And it's perfectly in time because tempo match was turned on. There's a few other ways of bringing it in. Let's delete this. We could drag it right over here to the track control panel. That also creates a new track, but it puts the file right at the beginning. We could also drag it to a track that already exists. So if you have a track here, just drag it in, right on the timeline, and place it. Then we could add it to a previously created track. We could also drag it right underneath our tracks, right here, and it places it right where we drop it. But my favorite way is to double click it. Just put the cursor right on bar two, double click this, and it imports it right on bar two. Now, if you notice, right on the left here, it automatically names the new track based on the file we dragged in. So this is named Drumbeat because the file was named Drumbeat. Now, we could also change our pitch. Let's delete this. And let's say we wanted to add a kick sample. Let's choose this, open our kick samples, and let's choose this kick drum. Let's say the pitch was too low. We could change the pitch right here to be a lot higher. Now we could drag it in, put it right on the bar. It makes a new track, and the pitch is raised higher. Let's hear that. Now, if you notice, the rate changed as well. That's because we accidentally left this on. Tempo match, but that's okay because everything we drag in as far as pitch or rate can be changed in the media item properties. Double click it, right over here is our pitch, and over here is the playback rate. So we can put this back to one, leave the pitch as is, and it fix that problem. So now it's still pitched up, but it's not time stretched. And we can readjust the pitch as well. Change it to four. Because nothing we do down here is destructive. We can always change it afterwards. Let's delete this. Now, one of the best reasons to use the Media Explorer instead of dragging it in from your directory is we can import just a piece of an audio file or a video file. So let's go back to our loops. 
and go to our piano. Let's hear it. Now the phrase is kind of long, but let's say we just want to use the first part. We just want to use this section and loop that. We can do that in the Media Explorer. Just select it, trim it to the size. Let's make sure looping is on. Too short. Let's bring it over here. And let's zoom in with our mouse and get it perfect. Now that's a perfect loop, but it's shorter than the entire file. So now we can drag in just this piece with tempo match turned on and place that right over here on the bar. And just that section was brought in. Now looping is on by default. So now we can stretch this out and just the section we brought in is gonna loop. So this area over here that we looped is not gonna be this piece over here because we only brought in the first half. Let's turn these off because they don't work with the piano. And let's hear this. Now we just have the first half of the phrase. This piece right here, not the whole file. So it's great if we're dealing with an audio file that has many different samples, and you don't want to have to bring the whole thing in. You could open it up in here, just grab the sample you want, or the sound effect you want, and just bring that in. It's a lot more powerful than dragging it in from your directory. So anyway, that's the Media Explorer in Reaper. Let's move on. Mom?